All right, we are here at my outdoor worm bin, and this is something special here. My neighbor got a sub pod, and I'm gonna give her 2,000 worms to get her started. So where we are right now is it has been three days since we gave the hoagie feeding. So I am expecting there to be maybe some bunches of worms here that I'll be able to grab all at once and be able to get maybe in some clusters so that I can get to 2,000 faster. I'm also in here because I want to kind of check the temperature and it does feel a little warm here. We almost made a little compost pile within our vermicompost and it can heat up and the worms may go over to the side. So let's go ahead and start getting some handfuls and see if we can get some worms out of here. Right, I've got a little container here to kind of just put clumps and we're going to see if we can get to a pound and then weigh it. <laughs> All right. We're starting to get to where the hoagie is, and I definitely feel increase in temperature right through here. And I've been watering it about every other day just to make sure that there's enough liquid. And the bread is doing all right. Like here, just a little bit of a dry clump, but <laughs> there's our mandarin. So it looks like they haven't got quite to the middle yet. So us being in here is gonna help aerate it and maybe lessen the temperature a little and again just just a little bit of heat i mean not too bad maybe maybe in the upper 90s here maybe right around 100 degrees fahrenheit i'll put celsius down there for you oh that's one of our corn cobs right there looks like uh the center is kind of pulled out of a regular cob so it's formed a little hole in there but I think it's increased temperature, so they're not, I don't see any worms on it. So let me get around the edges and we'll see if we can find some good clusters of worms. All right, let's go ahead and weigh this and see how much it is. It's got some bedding in there, but it is mostly worms and maybe we'll be able to get some of the bedding off. So let's go ahead and weigh this. All right, that was about half a pound of worms and material, so we may have to get a bigger container, but let's go ahead and keep trying to get some more worms. All right, I've dumped the worms out into here to try and get some of the castings away so I can get a better weight on them. So let me just kind of separate them out here, and then we'll get another weight on these worms, see how many I have. All right, that's mostly worms. Let me go ahead and weigh these and see how much we have there. All right, it took about four of these, mostly filled up, to get to two pounds of red wigglers. And check this out. Look at that. Just an absolute ton of red wigglers all from this bin. There are about two pounds, so what is that? Somewhere around 2,000, 2,500 worms something like that so these are gonna go a few doors down to my neighbors and go into a sub pod but i wanted to show you was this was about five thousand worms in here and i'm just gonna dig under and check it out still just tons of worms in here it was so easy to get all these worms out we just kind of grabbed a bunch put them down they sunk in and then we put them in piles so this worm bin is still cooking and we've got the corn cobs and some of the other foods from the hoagies and it really got aerated out. So the rest of these worms are gonna go ahead and feast on this and we'll be back in a few days to feed them again. All right, we're over here at my neighbor's house and we've got our worms in our sub pod. So let's get set up and add the worms. All right, so here we go. Inside here is 2000 worms and I'm just gonna kind of put some of the castings on each side and what the instructions say is to put if you have 2,000 worms put a thousand here and a thousand here and then you alternate feedings when you feed them and the worms will kind of migrate back and forth and certainly all throughout so let's go ahead and split these up and then we'll do the time lapse <laughs> so crazy oh my gosh that is just nuts all right so here we go awesome Serious birds are chirping like, hey, there's a worm bin over there. I see a ton of worms. Let's go get them.
All right, so it looks like the right one went down pretty quick, and then the left one is still working on it, but we're going to add some more bedding, and we'll call it a beginning of a sub pod. All right, there's my worms. They said I could visit anytime I wanted. So hope everybody's having a great day, and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.